the place for comic book and anime reviews. Hey you guys, I'm Bernie Control YouTube channel, I'm here for all your comic book and anime reviews. And today I'm bringing you guys My Hero Academia, episode number five. Uh, so this has been an episode I'm really looking forward to, you guys. I mean, seriously. Um, this was quite an amazing episode right off the back. Uh, Cause we get to see like all the um, competition competitors kind of going up against each other, pretty much, and we get to see uh, you know Bakugo's going after Deku at first in the beginning of the episode, but then you know at the, at the end of the last episode, um, you know that other guy from the other class kind of like you know trying to take his thunder. And so now Deku has, now Bongo has forgotten about Deku. He's like, screw Deku. We have a new um, target that we're after now. And he's going in full force, full adrenaline, and he is ready to take this guy down. And on the other side, you got Deku, uh, who has been like on the run from everybody else. He, he's finally going up against Todoroki. And Todoroki is ain't about to have any of Deku right about now. He is ready and he got Ida on his side. Which, by the way, Ida, Ida really shows himself in this episode here of My Hero Academia. He really showed what he was trying to tell Deku before. He, show, he told Deku before that, um, you are going to be my right off from now on. I am done being my, a step behind you. Like everyone else is pretty much in the class A. Like everyone else is pretty much... Always one step behind Deku, and now like it's time for Ida's turn to kind of like come out. He's trying to like come out on top and try to take down Deku, and you finally see that in this episode when he he's the one who manages to take um helps manage to take Deku's headband. If it weren't for Ida, they probably wouldn't have gotten it. Um, and you see you see that oh like you said like how beat the Deku is right now. He's like. That he couldn't get it, he couldn't stop either. And you know, I love what I love about this creator is he doesn't try to like give like the opponents one, but he didn't try to like have the main hero take it back from him or something like that. Like you know, in typical showing cliches, you see, oh, we know where the main hero is gonna win in. That's how we always know. I love that this creator is kind of like okay not to have that happen. Because it is kind of was a big deal for Ida to be able to take that headband from him. And that was that was Ida's shining moment. And you should have took that away from Ida. Um, and, but you all have to have Deku be able to like, stand on his own. He's not going to just give up. He's not going to just become a one and Brad. He's going to go and he's going to try to take that headband back that he was stolen from him. And he, and he does it. And you get to see him like having that little, um, his power go through him. And he's trying to attack Todoroki, um, but you know he can't hit Todoroki because then you know his whole entire body would blow up, and he would a he would hurt Todoroki, and b he would hurt himself quite a bit. Um, he doesn't try to do that. He just tries to like swipe it around him to try and grab the other headband. What he manages to do, um, sadly, is not the headband he actually needed, um, but he does get a headband, and that's well, that's, that's not a good enough thing for him. Um, but we see kind of like how, how kind of like insane Deku's mind can kind of be at times. He's trying to think of all these type of different situations. He's trying to like figure things out, but he's, he's also being very impulsive at the same time. Um, and that's kind of seeing one of Deku's weaknesses in this, in this instance. How like impulsive he just was because he really needed a headband. He really wanted to win. Um, but luckily at the end, um, you know. Tell he still comes out on top of this. He does still manage to become number one in the competition. Um, but Deku, 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 Deku don't, don't, don't think that Deku didn't do anything though. You know, Deku still, still gave it his all. He still really tried his hardest and everything. And you know, it was, a, it was still a good match for Deku in the end. Uh, so we get to my thoughts on My Hero Academia, episode number five. It was a really good episode. You got a lot of interesting stuff happening in this one. Um, I really enjoyed it quite a bit. Uh, so anyway, guys, let me, let me know in the comments below what you guys are about My Hero Academia this week. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.